New details tonight on a mass shooting at a Montgomery nightclub over the weekend that killed one and wounded 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Howell. And I'm Valerie Lawson. It happened at Island Lounge on Southeast Boulevard in Montgomery early Sunday morning. A day later, there are still unanswered questions for police and the families of the victims. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Connor has more tonight in an exclusive interview with the mother of the young man killed and with an eyewitness who is the mother of the murder victim's newborn son son. They took someone from me that was very, very special. Brianna Thomas is the mother of DeSamuel Thomas's two-month-old son. They took my child life. They took him from his kids. Cherry Thomas is the mother of the 20-year-old who was gunned down at the island lounge. I had one in the chest, one in the stomach, and one in the groin. Davis was there when it happened. It was gunshots fired everywhere. It was innocent people getting shot. She says it was a private Halloween party where Thomas and his rap group, the Fanboys, were scheduled to perform. Davis says the group made it to the stage, and that's when a group of guys dressed in all black, wearing masks, opened fire. And I see him laying on the ground. That's when I ran and laid on top of him, and he was gasping for air. His eyes rolling in the back of his head. He was about to die. Both believe recent shootings at Gibbs Village, Oak Park, and here are all connected. Thomas believes her son and the fam boys are being targeted, but doesn't know why. They were standing performing Oak Park when that happened. And when it, at the island, they supposed to be perform, and that happened. Thomas was the best friend of 21-year-old Jaderico Langford, one of the two young men killed last month in Gibbs Village, a funeral this family attended. Now, as this mother prepares for her son's funeral, she hopes police are doing all they can to arrest those responsible. I hope they find them, and I hope they do whatever they got to do to get them out the street. One person is in custody, but so far no charges have been filed. I asked police chief Kevin Murphy for an on-camera interview. He declined saying there was no new information to release. He says his investigators are following all leads and working every angle to solve this case. Bob. Thanks, Dimitri. Um, some of the 10 wounded in the shooting, by the way, are still being treated at local hospitals. A weekend mass shooting in Montgomery may force a nearby business to pick up and move. The shooting happened early Sunday at the Island Lounge. That's on the East South Boulevard. One person died and 10 others were hurt. Now a daycare nearby is weighing its options. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Smith uh, Connor spoke with the owner. Hester Hinden is the owner of Cade's daycare center right next door to where 11 people were shot, one fatally. I know the parents would not, you know, want their kids in that kind of environment. And that's why she's ready to close up shop here and relocate to another area. I have had parents to complain about being between two clubs. Hinden says she heard about the shooting Sunday morning. Since then, she's been worried about its impact on an already struggling daycare business. It's not going to grow when things keep happening around the area. The owner says the daycare has been open for five years and burglarized five times. And she says after the shooting, she can't take any more chances. Since that time, I have lost a lot of business. Her numbers have dropped from 40 to 22 kids. And now five parents and caretakers have threatened to remove their kids because of this recent shooting. I mean, I, I just don't know. It, it, it makes me real nervous. Like Carolyn Harris, who fears the safety of her two-year-old granddaughter. With all this shooting this close, you know, kids can be on the outside and, you know, and anything can break out. Hendon says she's looking for another building on Troy Highway. She hopes to be in a new location within the next two months. I just wish our young people would think and just, you know, like I said, I, I feel sorry for the family. And um, I just hope all the crime can be stopped. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. Now, as far as we know, a suspect is in custody in connection with that shooting, but no criminal charges have been filed yet. WSFA 12 News did request an interview with the police chief today, but he told us there is simply no new information to release.
We are following some breaking news on WSFA 12 News. Montgomery police make an arrest in a weekend mass shooting. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Judd Davis. In just the last hour, Montgomery police announced the arrest of a man accused in a weekend shooting where one person was killed, 10 others wounded at a local club. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Connor joins us now live with the very latest. Demetria, what can you tell us about this arrest? Well, I can tell you that I'm right outside of MPD's Criminal Investigative Division where Mayor Todd Strange, Public Safety Director Chris Murphy, and Police Chief Kevin Murphy just wrapped up a press conference giving us the latest development in this island shooting. They tell us 16-year-old Gregory Blue has been arrested and charged with one count of murder and 10 counts of attempted murder in connection with that mass shooting Sunday morning. Chief Murphy says that he will be charged as an adult and Blue targeted 21-year-old Samuel Thomas on purpose as a part of an ongoing dispute between neighborhood groups. Now, Chief Murphy says it's important for the public to know that this was an intentional act and residents have no reason to feel unsafe. For our citizens, that they have every reason to feel safe. These are not random acts where people are just going out and indiscriminately shooting into a crowd. And he was looking for somebody. He found that person. He opened fire. Chief Murphy says Blue is being held in the county jail on a $2 million bond, $1 million for that murder charge, and $100,000 apiece for those 10 attempted murder charges. Now coming up on WSFA 12 News First at 4, we'll have much more on these latest developments. Plus, we'll tell you about these loosely organized neighborhood groups that police say they all have a connection with the Gibbs Village, Oak Park, and this latest island shooting. We're live in Montgomery. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News. Demetria, thank you for the latest update this afternoon. Again, we will have more on that arrest coming up later today. You can get the very latest information by checking out our website, WSFA.com. And like Demetria mentioned, we'll have much more later today on WSFA 12 News, first at 4. Topping our news first at four, a 16-year-old is behind bars this afternoon charged in a weekend mass shooting in Montgomery. The shooting happened early Sunday morning at the Island Lounge. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Connor is live outside the lounge with the new developments. And Demetria, what have you learned about the person police arrested? Sally, police say this was a single shooter who has been arrested and charged and probably won't be getting out of jail anytime soon. Police say 16-year-old Gregory Blue is charged with one count of murder and 10 counts of attempted murder in connection with that mass shooting Sunday morning that sent 10 people to the hospital and left one man dead. Chief Murphy says Blue turned himself in yesterday. Now we learn this is not the same person who was taken into custody that morning of the incident. That person has been released and was not charged in connection with the shooting. Blue will be charged as an adult, and Chief Murphy says he intentionally planned to target 20-year-old Samuel Thomas as part of an ongoing dispute between neighborhood groups. One assaults the other. Many times their friends will consider it an attack on them as well. Blue is being held in the county jail on a $2 million bond, $1 million for that murder charge, and $100,000 apiece for those 10 attempted murder charges. Sally? And Demetria, we, I know that uh, we've heard that their liquor license at the lounge there could be revoked. What can you tell us about that? Right, Sally. I understand that the business did appear before the ABC board in a hearing today regarding the status of that liquor license. And so far, we have not heard word yet, but as soon as we do, we will get that information to the public. And Demetri, you told us yesterday a daycare near the lounge was considering moving. Has news of the arrest changed the owner's mind or does she still plan to, to move away? Right, Sally, and I did speak with Cade's daycare center owner, Hester Hendon, and she is directly across from the Allen Lounge. She said that despite this arrest, she is still making moves, and in fact, she started the paperwork today, so this is a definite relocation for her and her daycare. Sally? All right, Demetria, you can read more about the shooting investigation right now at WSFA.com. We also invite you to like WSFA 12 News on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For news and weather on the go, download our smartphone apps.
A teenager arrested and charged in connection with a mass shooting in Montgomery. Good evening, everyone. I'm Valerie Lawson. And I'm Mark Bullock. Eleven people were shot in that incident. One person killed, creating a good bit of alarm for businesses and residents who live in the area. The chief of police and the mayor joined forces today to make the announcement about those arrests. WSFA 12 News reporter Tamitra Connor joins us live with the very latest on those arrests. And Tamitra, what happened today between the mayor and uh, the police chief? What did he have to say? Well, Val, I can tell you that the teen is behind bars and now police are confirming that this shooting is connected with three other recent shootings at the uh, Gibbs Village, Oak Park, and the shooting near Crampton Bowl. Now, that teen that's behind bars is 16-year-old Gregory Blue. He's charged with one count of murder and 10 counts of attempted murder. Mayor Todd Strange says these recent shootings all have one common thread, what he is referring to as loosely organized neighborhood groups. Chief Murphy says a secret task force has been formed to try to break up these groups, and Murphy says several officers will be attending a training in Milwaukee to learn new strategies for addressing these groups and violent crimes as a whole. As we know, Mayor Todd Strange does not acknowledge gang activity in Montgomery. In fact, he refers to it as the G word, not really wanting to say the word gang. But both Chief Murphy and Mayor Todd Strange confirm these groups are beefing with one another. In this particular case, these young people have access to weapons and they're in fact taking it out one on one, uh, duking it out, uh, if you will. Now, the young man who was gunned down right behind me is a part of a local rap group called the Fanboys. Now, police say the Fanboys is one of these loosely organized neighborhood groups, but coming up at six, you'll hear from the family who says that's not the case and get their reaction to the latest development. We're live in Montgomery. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News. All right, thanks a lot, Demetria. 11 arrests have been made in connection with these recent shootings. One for the shooting near Crampton Bowl. There were seven arrests at the Oak Park shooting. Two people were arrested in connection with the Gibbs Village shooting. And the most recent arrest in the Island Lounge shooting. That suspect, Gregory Blue, was being held at the Montgomery County Detention Facility on a $2 million bond. Demetria, what can you tell us about this story? Well, the mother of that 20 year old who was shot and killed at this nightclub right behind me says we broke the news to her that a suspect had been arrested and charged with the murder of her son. Now, police say this was a single shooter, but the family and an eyewitness says that's not the case and police should be looking for more suspects. Montgomery Police Chief Kevin Murphy says it was this single shooter, 16-year-old Gregory Blue, who shot 10 people and killed 20-year-old Samuel Thomas Sunday morning at Island Lounge. Mr. Blue went to this location and had an intended target. It's not random. He knew what he was doing. He knew who he was looking for. Murphy says the motive is an ongoing dispute between what Mayor Todd Strange calls loosely organized neighborhood groups. These are young people with guns and there is an ongoing dispute between these individuals. The shooting victim to Samuel Thomas is a member of the local rap group, the Fanboys. Murphy confirmed that group was being targeted and is connected with the recent shootings near Crampton Bowl, Gibbs Village, Oak Park, and the Island Lounge. One assaults the other. Many times their friends will consider it an attack on them as well. Mayor Strange does not acknowledge gang activity in Montgomery, but says these groups are indulging in drugs, guns, and violence. In this particular case, these young people have access to weapons, and they're in fact taking it out one-on-one, -on -one, uh, duking it out, uh, if you will. But the mother of the victim, Cherry Thomas, says the Fam Boys is simply a rap group. And she says one person couldn't have shot all those people. To me, it's still not closure. And I hope they find the rest of them because there's more than one involved. 
Police say all of the shooting victims were between the ages of 17 and 22. The young man who died was 20. And of course, the family is still grieving. And that mother says that this is not a closed case and the investigation should be continuing. We're live in Montgomery. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News. Now, Thomas's funeral is this Saturday at 1 p.m. at True Divine Missionary Baptist Church on Troy Highway. Montgomery Lounge, the scene of a weekend mass shooting, learns its fate from the state. Good evening, I'm Mark Bullock. And I'm Valerie Lawson. 11 people were shot, one killed at the Island Lounge off East South Boulevard in Montgomery on Sunday. A teenager was arrested for that crime. Now WSFA 12 News has learned the lounge was already under investigation by the Alabama Alcoholic Beverage Control Board. And that board has now ruled on the establishment's chances of getting back its liquor license. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Connor has worked this story from the beginning. Information. The Alabama Alcoholic Beverage Control Board had been investigating illegal activity at the Island Lounge, the site of a weekend mass shooting in Montgomery. And it concerns us for what happened there because of um, the kids that were there and what could potentially happen again. Months before the shooting, tips and complaints led agents to go undercover and find out what was going on at this nightclub. The ABC board said the Island Lounge had already been selling liquor without a license. In September, an undercover agent purchased beer here. Afterwards, agents confiscated 300 bottles of beer and several dozen bottles of liquor. Agents say the owner, 39-year-old Topango Marie Williams, was arrested and charged in September for possession of alcohol for sale without a license. She pleaded guilty in court and paid a $250 fine and $250 court cost. You can and have, there is a such thing as a brown bag law and they can take their own in, but you can't sell it. Agents say Williams applied for a license for the first time on June 29th. Wednesday, she found herself in a hearing where agents presented a case for illegal activity. And with the recent shooting, the commission determined she could not obtain a liquor license. They said with that happening um, that she did not need a license there or did not recommend her to have a license there. Since Wednesday, agents have been trying to track Williams down. And we even went to her home and got no response. Agents say Williams can still operate a business without a liquor license, but usually they don't last. Typically, they do go out of business. Williams can appeal this decision. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. The liquor license process begins with the ABC board, then the application goes to the city where the city council must vote on it. If a business gets approval, the application goes back to the ABC board, which will then issue the license. There was an unusual order of business during the swearing-in ceremony. The mayor asked the council to begin the process of shutting down the Island Lounge. Now that's the club where 11 people were shot, two people were killed more than a week ago. WSFA 12 News reporter Demetria Connor is live downtown with the very latest of Developments, Demetria. Val, typically no business is discussed during the swearing in, and it's usually a celebratory moment between the mayor and city council members. But Mayor Todd Strain says it was necessary to start action against the owner of the Island Lounge before another tragic event happens. It was supposed to be a normal swearing in ceremony for the Montgomery mayor and nine city councilmen. And I apologize for bringing this. Uh, in this celebrat uh, celebratory time. But towards the end of the ceremony, Mayor Todd Strange presented a resolution to the council to revoke the business license of the Island Lounge. The unanimous resolution is adopted. Thank you. The first step towards shutting down the establishment, which was the site of a mass shooting that left two people dead. Owner did not have a permit to have an underage party. There's evidence that alcohol was being served to minors. They did not have the requisite a number, amount of security to go with the amount of patrons there. The lounge is located in council member Arch Lee's District 7. I actually called the mayor and he had already had this drafted, but uh, certainly in agreement with it. And um, it's just a sad state of affairs, but um, it obviously doesn't need to be in business. Mayor Strain says he alerted lounge owner Topango Marie Williams that he would present this resolution. The council will vote on it at its next meeting. Williams can appear before the council before the vote, and the mayor says he hopes she 
she does. There is due process. She can appear before the council. And uh, frankly, I hope she does uh, come because I'd like to say a word or two to her. And the mayor says that he, along with the city council members, will continue to be proactive and pursue these businesses that are not following the law. Now, we attempted three times to reach out to the business owner, Topango Williams, and we were unsuccessful. We're live in downtown Montgomery. Demetria Connor, WSFA 12 News. Also at tonight's meeting, the Montgomery City Council voted to revoke Topango Williams' business license. She is the owner of the Island Lounge, the site of a recent shooting.